In an effort to increase resources for the victims of crime, Indiana's Attorney General Greg Zeller has created the Division of Victim Services and Outreach to better fit victims with the assistance that they need. That division will be offering training to existing programs. Attorney General Zeller joins us now to talk more about this new division and how it will also open lines of communication between agencies to improve resources available for victims. Attorney General, thanks so much for coming in. It's good to be here. It's called the Victim Success and Outreach Division. What does it do? Well, there's already a lot of people who serve victims in the local communities. Every prosecutor's office, you know, hospitals, police, everyone tries to do their best to serve victims of crime. Uh, but this really helps coordinate some of the work. Uh, there's never been kind of a communications and a network to help support the people who support victims. So that's really the focus is to provide an umbrella uh, that helps everyone in this service business. Is, is that an acknowledgement that not enough was being done before? Uh, I think it's more a question of, you know, the victims of particularly sexual abuse, the uh, human trafficking that we've focused on, uh, even on campus sexual assaults are up, and those are tougher victims. You really have to provide a lot more uh, services when you're talking about the trauma uh, of sexual assaults and violence. So uh, I think it's going to take a lot more efforts. Quite frankly, our Indiana Constitution requires that we provide services to victims, and I don't know that we've done enough, but it's really a question of a harder victim to serve. Is there a cost associated with this? No, this is mostly, let's say I've got to prioritize inside of the office, so I move people from one part to another. Our biggest section is in the criminal prosecution support, the criminal appeals. Uh, but this really dovetails off of that. We're not spending enough of our resources on supporting victims. Uh, we have an obligation to, to defend the state and deal with the uh, constitutional rights of the accused. This focuses on the constitutional rights of the victims. Um, I wanted to ask you specifically about human trafficking. That was mentioned quite a bit yeah. in the, the rollout to this. How big a problem is human trafficking in the state of Indiana? That seems like that would be a bigger problem maybe out west or in a border region. No, I think some of it is the understanding of what human trafficking is. Uh, young girls, you know, usually abused at home. They run away. They get picked up by their new boyfriend who's actually a pimp. Uh, they are then victims of human trafficking as they get moved around the country. Uh, so these are 80 percent are people, young girls in the United States, so they're not being shipped in from someplace. Uh, and then on their 18th birthday, we say that they're a prostitute and treat them like a criminal. So really, a lot of this is a societal problem where we've got to recognize prostitutes likely never volunteered. Uh, this is a myth. Uh, they started out as abused victims, then they were traffic victims, and now they're 18 and we somehow look at them like they're criminals. Yeah, that suddenly you can yeah. become a victim uh, or a criminal versus a victim based on uh, a birth date, yeah. which is kind of random. You are reaching out, uh, we've got an email address to show you're reaching out for advocates to reach out to your office. That's right. It's a victim's uh, services network, so it's really to help them communicate their best practices among themselves. Okay. Attorney General Greg Ziller, thanks so much. Sure. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in.